You need a 22 millimeter socket to get that compression, or sorry, that rebound adjuster out of this damper side. So use my axle again. You have to use the fat side of the axle for this right hand fork leg. Hand tighten these pinch bolt screws so there's no chance you distort the lug. Loosen that guy up, put your axle aside. And again, I don't recommend using impact tools or power tools on these WP threads. That's your rebound clicker from the WP damper. Set that aside with that other blue cap. Now I'm gonna stuff that rag back in there because there's undoubtedly some oil hanging out. Flip this guy over. And now we're gonna take out the damper cartridge. And just place it here next to the pneumatic spring cartridge. And you can see they're almost externally identical, but you can identify the spring cartridge with the blue bottom hex, and then it has the pneumatic fittings on top. So now that that's done, same, same conversion process. Grab the hydraulic bottoming cup with the spring seat and the hex. The hex goes into the tube first. I have the fork leg compressed. Take the rag out, hex first, drop it in, let it slide down. Use my middle finger or index finger to rotate that hex until it drops into place. Once it's keyed in, locked in, and it pulls down that extra three quarters of an inch, drop in your spring down onto the spring seat. Grab your second KYB cartridge. It's prepped the same way as the other. Take off the KYB rebound clicker. Make sure you have a rebound adjustment rod. Slide that cartridge in. Ideally, when you handle these cartridges, you'll see I'm being pretty careful not to ding up the cartridge rods. That's one of the most important and sensitive areas inside of a closed cartridge or sealed cartridge fork. Thread that fork cap into the upper tube, at least until the O-ring touches the top of the tube. Grab both tubes, flip it upside down, and then this procedure is exactly the same as the last KYB fork insert. We take this cartridge rod holding tool, push down firmly on that lug until we can slide the cartridge rod holder tool in place. We've got our rebound adjustment rod, and then this is the new clicker that comes with the kit from Dialed MFG. Thread that down, that clicker body, down onto the rod until it's finger tight and snug. And this is where we need a 21 millimeter wrench and a 15 millimeter wrench. Grab that rebound adjuster with your 21 millimeter and then use the 15 millimeter to rotate the lock nut up against the clicker body. Once it's snugged up against, get your wrenches where you can get a nice bit of leverage and make sure that Make sure it's nice and tight and it's not gonna come loose. Take a little dab of your grease, and this, for reference, is just Valvoline multi-purpose grease from Napa. Nothing special, it's just the import and uh, Chrysler and GM wheel bearing type grease. Put some of that on the threads. Take out that cartridge rod holding tool, place it aside. Take your 21 millimeter socket. I'll run this in with my impact. And then lock it down using the ratchet and holding the fork lug with my front axle. Okay, so now this fork is essentially done. So we're gonna get both forks up here. Open up this fork. Same process again. A little difficult to do without a knee stool or something here, but. Do the same.
And once that, uh, once that fork cap is off, or is, is on and tight, and that clamp is off, this fork is ready to go on the bike. Set your clickers, set your fork height, and go enjoy a probably more pleasant ride than what you're used to with the pneumatic springs.